What is going on guys? I'm going to be showing you how to install the handcuff script from the OpenDaisy.net uh, form. Uh, a lot of people are having problems installing it. It's not an official script yet, so I figured I would uh, help people out in getting it in installed. And so let's get into it. Okay, so uh, if you do not have a custom fn self actions.sqf or a com custom compiles.sqf, I will put a link to the uh, in the description of this video on how to do that. But assuming you already have that, we're gonna open up our custom fn self actions and we're gonna edit that with the uh, whatever program you edit it with. I'm using Notepad Plus Plus because I find it to be the easiest. Next you're going to want to do is just copy uh, this little bit right here. This is how I find it the easiest thing to do. You may have a different technique of doing it, but I find this to be the easiest. And we're gonna, just going to find until we get to this one right here. The one that's all by itself where it says uh, equals underscore cursor target is kind of all vehicles. <clears throat> then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to copy this. And then under this, we're going to put that in. What I like to do, though, is uh, just for my sake of OCD, in just case uh, I have to remove it, and so I'm not sitting here looking for it forever, I put in front of it a uh, slash slash, and then I'm going to do arrest script so I can easily find it. Okay? So uh, anything that has a slash slash in front of it is not actual code. It's just going to read it off. Like, it's only for you to see it. It's not going to read it. It's invisible to the actual uh, thing that is running the script or the file. So next, we are, what we're going to want to look for is we're going to want to look for slash slash cursor target alive. So we're going to, need to go control F slash slash cursor and find next. And then here we go, cursor alive. Next, we're going to want to do is we're going to hit enter twice. And then in the center one, where you're going to want to paste that in. Right here where it says uh, player get variable humanity is uh, less than or equal to 9,000. I think that's what, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Uh, you're going to want to change this so that um, uh, you can set it to whatever you want, whoever you want the humanity to be for uh, players to, um, which we want players' humanity to be for uh, to be able to arrest people, detain, whatever. Uh, also, right here, you can see this says color. You can use a standard RGB color palette to color picker to get a color, and you can put that in there for what you want the title to be, and then edit the title to whatever you would like. And that's really it for right there for now. Next, we want to go to, uh, let's see, slash slash others. So let's do control F again, slash slash others. There we go. And then we're going to want to take this little piece of code, and we're going to want to put it in, I think it said, where did I say to put it? Above? Yeah, it says above. So we're going to want to do enter, enter again, put that in, tab that over, and we are done um, for there. Okay, now you're just going to want to save this and close that out. So Also, this is going to be in your mission file, so as you can see, mine is right here in my customs folder. Next, what we are going to want to do is we are going to want to go into our scripts folder. And in the forum post, I'll put a link to this post uh, right uh, in the description. Also, in the forum post I'll be making, you're going to want to download this link from right here. And it's going to download the RAR. Uh, open this up. And you're just going to want to take, uh, let's see, oops. You're going to want to take the investigation folder and just drag it straight into your scripts folder. And you are done for there for the script itself. Next, what we're going to want to do is, I know a lot of people are having trouble with battle eye filters, uh, whether you're using uh, Infostar or just normal battle eye. Um, I'm going to show you on what I did to fix that problem. Um, it may be different per whatever, uh, per server, because uh, I know some people are having different problems, but I'm going to show you if this is not the exact filter you need. I'll show you how to find the filter you need. So let's go back to our uh, root folder and we are going to go to our instance 11 underscore chinaris and then we're going to go to battle eye and then we're going to go to public variables at txt. You're going to want to, I will also put this in the post in the description, we're going to want to put these two pieces 
of uh, fil these two filters in and that should take care of it. For some reason, if it doesn't take care of it, you're going to want to open up your public variable log and you're going to look for, say, okay, say this is me right here. So say it says right here that I get kicked and then in the parentheses or the quotes, it should say what I got kicked for slash banned for and you're just going to want to put in the filter. You're going to want to put, um, let's see, where is it? Or did I close it out? Yeah, I might have closed it out. You're going to want to put it in right here in exclamation part equals and then the parentheses. So that should about cover it. Um, if you have any more problems, feel free to either PM me or respond to the post, whatever you would like. Um, and that should really take care of it. Uh, like I said, if you need any more help, uh, feel free to message me and or respond to this post. And that should uh, be good. So hope this helps you guys out a lot. Uh, have a good day.